Well, let's try this again. Hopefully this is coming through. I had to break out some stuff so maybe I can actually get this recorded because with the wind and all the storms that are going on, which we're doing that to ourselves, and they're helping us fan our power, and we're thinking that it's just some random event, but we'll get to that on another story. Anyways, I'm here in Greensburg, Indiana, and uh, <laughs> I had an epiphany not too long ago, but I wanted to share something with you. I made mention about DNA, so let me keep this general so I don't get whacked by the powers as is, which I understand because when you know stuff, you got to be careful in what you say because it totally disrupts things and it causes a lot of unnecessary <laughs> chaos. Anyways, if you don't make it through this video, at least go through the description below because there's some really hard-hitting truths that you need to know that has probably been withheld from you. Some of you may know it and chose to ignore it, but the truth is it's about time to own what you are and who you are. I say I'm a master, so are you. Okay, anyways, back to the DNA. I'm gonna give you a general rendition of what fractal science, or if you put consciousness physics, what it actually is and what it does. Would you agree with me that you are a sum product of all of your ancestors? The obvious answer is yes, because how else would you be listening to me? What does that mean? Have you ever heard in that metaphorical book called the Bible or whichever book, however you want to refer to it, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes, but it truly is just metaphors. Generational curses are absolutely correct. You have to resolve in yourself everything that they have done so that way you can set them free while setting yourself free. So what you're doing is you're paying honor unto your ancestors by working through, excuse the terminology, shit. <laughs> you have to fix yourself so that way you can fix your family line, which then drops the karmic baggage and enhances the energy moving forward for benevolence, which ignites quantum energy, which is the second chromosome. You'll, that's another story. What is so important about your DNA? Why do you have to be kind? Why is it that you've got to do everything, be compassionate, be love? Love is the ultimate. Okay, watch this. Take the letter U. Now take another one the opposite way, just like the Under Armour symbol. Put a dot right in the center of that. That's a spark or a starting point. We don't know how it starts, that source energy, giving us the ability to start, because life everywhere in the universe looks just like us. I hate to break, to break it to you. If they showed up, they'd buy you a cup of coffee and you wouldn't even know that they're from another world. <laughs> that's, that's for real. Anyways, uh, think about it this way. For every action is an opposite and equal reaction. So if your DNA is a sum product of every person before you until now, <laughs> what happens if you take your DNA and loop it around to each other? You've created your own universe because otherwise how else would you be able to believe in a galaxy, a universe, the moons, the stars? It's your perception. So what if your perception included, holy crap, there might be alternate timelines. You know, that you that I was telling you about, the opposite side, if you're going for good, you can't have good without bad. You can't have light without dark. So for every good that you do, you're collapsing those rungs. How do you collapse the rungs and make them tighter and faster? Thank you, I love you. How may I serve you? Being kind, being compassionate, because what you do unto another, you're actually doing it unto yourself. The, re the big trick, what everybody is missing is, they want you to be upset and fearful about everything because they need you to be pissed off at the alternate version of yourself, so that way you can perpetuate the alternate reality or the dream a lot longer in misery. 
How do you wake up from misery? Acknowledge that you don't know everything, suspend everything that you think that you know, and literally say, dear self, please grant me the ability to suspend all distractions. <laughs> Sorry, a big truck going by. Suspend all distractions so that way I can see the truth. That's real hard to do. Just like a gentleman I responded to on Twitter just a few minutes ago. He was like, hey Q, I want, I'm a 61. I, did, I, don't, I can't believe that I got tricked by you. No, the trick is was done before you even thought that there was a trick. What do the Rothschilds always say? Give me the children for the first five years and I will take a nation. Why? Because if you literally program them to where you don't have any courage, you don't have self-identity, you don't have your self-worth, you don't remember what you are and why you're here, it's easier to control you because you're told what to do. It's an employee model, i.e. the school system. Now, what happens if you get your power back and you step out and you go, what? what's going on here? You invite the quantum effect to close the loop and actually create the benevolence of good to rush back in, which means everything that was meant for your harm, you know, the lesson served, will eventually serve you for good, great, and awesome. Because we're all magnificent, we just forgot what that was because we're told how to think, what to do, when you can go to the bathroom, uh, hey, it's the weekend, you're allowed to have fun on Friday, but come Monday, you gotta be miserable, so Saturday's your only day. You know what I'm getting at. What if you had Friday every effing freaking day? What a concept. Did you know that you can literally, I've, I've been doing an experiment kind of long term since I incorporated a, uh, I fell into that trap just like everybody else and I stepped off into the dark world and thought that I was more than what I was and thought power and control and money was everything and oh look I'm a business owner blah 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 whatever. It's all horse shit. <laughs> it's, no offense it was all horse shit and I apologize. For every person that I hurt I'm sorry. I was in complete ignorance. I was having fun with the power. I now know that I was wrong. Why do you have to be compassionate? Because DNA, each one of us have our ancestral roots, which makes us a corporeal body. We have a body that's inside of a spirit, which is part of a whole. So if you remember that you're all one thing coming down having a human experience to enjoy the creation of the creator from the uh, the eyes of the creator so that way you can remember what it feels like because if you know everything it's no fun <laughs> you got to come down and remember what it's like hey if i create this what is that going to do well go create it and find out if you don't like it we have the right to choose at any given time but what the problem is we get so fixated on, oh crap, I failed. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, you see where I'm going. Oh, here, take this pill. Oh, there must be something wrong with you. You're not conforming. Oh, here's the, the classic I really enjoyed. Do you hear voices coming out the TV? <laughs> Do animals seem to talk to you? Come on, people. They already know the game. They need to know what kind of drug to get you to shut you down before you wake the hell up. That's all that is. Now watch this. You see this, right? I used to weigh 337 pounds because I had adopted all the fear and hate and anger. I haven't worked out. Not one bit. Why do I weigh 145 pounds now? My mind is sharper than it's ever been. Oh, and by the way, I haven't been on marijuana in a day, so I apologize if I'm rambling, because that's why I smoke marijuana, to slow my mind down, to process, because I don't have anybody to talk to, because everybody's so fixated on the next thing to be fearful about. <laughs> why don't you say, hey, why don't we quit looking at their bullshit and say, hmm, what's the one thing that will bring me joy right now? I guarantee you it ain't watching Twitter feeds. It ain't watching this video from some freaking country sounding dude 
trying to explain what everybody already knows so you'll wake the hell up and we all get back to doing what we're here to do which is to have fun live in the moment and create our highest and best expression of our soul our soul knows what to do those apprehensions those pains in your body oh here's the classic my toe hurts did you hear that my toe hurts you've already adopted separation right there if your toe hurts, you say, I hurt. I hurt there in my toe. Self, please tell me what's going on. You are a walking self-diagnostic, self-healing, self-medicating, self-everything that you need. And if you don't have it inside of you, it will be drawn to you. That's why I don't live for fame or fortune or homes anymore. Yes, I enjoyed the security of having a place, but guess what? My home's right here. <laughs> and so is yours. Not with me, but yours, if you get what I'm saying. So how do you complete the process? Every person that you meet, every bird, every animal, is just a reflection on a different timeline than what you are right now. If you will resolve in that moment and say, thank you, how are you? How may I serve you? Is everything okay in your world? You just gave that person permission to say, oh my God, we're back. I'm whole and complete again. You're healing both the light side of the universe and the dark side. Now what happens is if you get just a handful of people doing that, you create a shock wave. Energy has no respecter of choice. It literally will go to, it, to the point of attraction. The vortex is created all the time. So once you get in the middle of the vortex and you see a creation that isn't there or you wish to see it, all you have to do is say, I choose that. Well, John, it doesn't show up immediately. Well, guess what? If you like carrots, Every farmer knows that it takes 72 days, so what would you do for 72 days since you like carrots so much? Probably what most farmers do. They go tinker on their tractor, whatever that brings them joy. Go wet a hook in the creek, go swimming in their favorite swimming hole. I don't know. You're you. I'm me. I like to go out for nature walks. I also know that there's what's called the law of gestation. So, Yes, do miracles happen? Of course they do. But it's not what you think. If you literally get a miracle, all you got to do is reverse engineer and you'll realize that all that happened was mind, body, and soul coalesced into one focal point. Right then, the miracle asked is received. And you'll get it instantly. That's why Jesus was able to do what he did. He said, what things you see me do, you will also do, and greater things shall you do. Did we believe that running a mile in under four minutes was possible until that guy in Britain did it in 19, what was it, 59? Within 87 days, there was something like 30 or 40 people did it, but they'd been trying for hundreds of years, and scientists said, oh, the human body would explode if it did that. Well, guess what? We're down to like, what, 318, 321? Come on, people. What is possible? Everything is possible to those who believe. That's what it means. If you think that you can't get somewhere or have something or do anything, who's limiting it? It ain't me. Hmm. Just food for thought. Anyways, the rubber band, the ball of rubber band is what I was talking about. Do you realize that there's more than you and me on this planet? Maybe like billions of people? Energy can never be created nor destroyed. If all of your ancestors... <laughs> where did they go? I hope you're starting to understand this. If you are a product of all of your ancestors and somewhere along the line, I'm pretty sure that my ancestors had some involvement or entanglement with your ancestors somehow, some way. If you acknowledge that you are a friend, not a foe, and say, welcome, home, how are you? How may I serve you? Is everything okay in your world? What you're doing is you're closing the loop. 
Have you noticed that this little block, this ball that we're riding around in space on is so blue and it looks so different than any planet out there? Hmm. What if DNA is actually entanglement and we all have agreed to say, hey, you know what? We're going to use this as the grand experiment. Yes, we set this up. We did this so many times before it's not even ridiculous so eventually somebody somewhere is going to wake up to the fact of what's actually going on it was us and trust me just like any parent would know if you knew for a fact that you could do something really nice for your kids say at 40 years old they had to open up a box and it had pictures that they'd never seen and hey whatever you do don't do this wouldn't you do it? Well, guess what? That's where inventions come from. That's where wisdom comes from. There's really cool things that starts happening at the age of 40, at the age of 60, at the age of, you see what I'm saying? There's different markers that opens up areas in the brain. You're allowed to attune to higher frequencies because energy of your ancestors are still here. They're right here around us all the time. And all you got to do is just say, I pay honor to you, please help me. Does anybody in my ancestral line know anything about business, about math, about, you know, whatever it is? And how do you receive the answer? Everybody's looking for this shockwave in the sky and it be written out in the sky. Well, here's how quantum works. This is how you figure out stuff really quickly. Just like Q has been trying to tell you, and I hope people are starting to understand that he's talking about himself in third person from the future, but now. And it takes a few moments for that time warp to come around. How does quantum work? How do you get to be in two places at one time? It's a circle. Do an L, put a dot at that little corner there, put a, a dot at, just go 45 degrees straight out. Now, how do you be in two places at one time? Roll the paper over. Guys, stop overthinking stuff. My goodness. The reason why a lot of really cool information is withheld from us is because we're still in the, I'm going to throw a stone at you if you don't give me your freaking truck. Why? That's their truck. Go create your own truck. Go create your own paradise, your own compound. Create your world as long as it doesn't create violence for the person beside you, that's how you know your creation is good. If you have to literally think, well, man, if I get caught, I'm going to go to jail. Well, don't do it. That's the reason why we have laws is to keep you from wrecking us all. And those that choose not to abide by the karmic rule of energy transference will pay the ultimate price. That's why it's called consequence. Consequent consciousness. If you don't know how to quench it with the right way, it will quench you. <laughs> but anyways, DNA, if you really stop and think about it, every word, just like Isaiah said in that metaphorical book, he was a real guy, but he was learning how to open his mind and be still to the concept of thinking. When you ask of the Father, which is you, you have received it. But see, here's two pieces of it that they didn't tell you about. You have to make your environment to the best of your ability for the thing asked for. So if you're asking for money and you're hanging around broke people, you think you're going to get any money anytime soon? Hmm. Just like Jim Rowan's always saying, if you literally hang, I can tell, all I got to do is look at you and I can tell you what your friends are. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because you're some product of them. Your environment makes you. And if you're on autopilot because we have this 95% thing that controls us called subconscious, which actually maps and keeps us safe. Well, guess what? If you'll tell yourself, Hey, self, we no longer live in caves. There's no tigers looking to eat us, and nobody's out to get me except me. Mm -hmm. If you resolve that fear right here and right now, 
what darkness will you find if you're always in the light? Light means knowledge. New knowledge creates future knowledge, which turns into wisdom. You know why you couldn't see this coming? Because they gave you what to think, so that way it would shape your future thinking, so that way you would never even step out of the box to see what was actually going on. Anyways, how do you create a universe? What does a universe look like to you? What if there was a multiverse? Guess what? For everything that you think, there is an opposite universe, galaxy, planet, etc. If you don't like the world that you're in right now, say, self, I understand. I have been tricked. I tricked myself. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I would like to pay honor to my ancestors and set us free. I choose love. I choose life. Please help me. There you go. Right there. What does that do? It collapses the dark side or the dark energy, which is fear, into love, which is higher vibrations. Higher vibration allows you to tune to the soup of consciousness, which is everything. <laughs> the darkness can't understand why it is I can see them. Well, if you're above looking down at the darkness in the valley, it's nothing but frequencies, vibration, and energy. Have you ever been sitting in a room and you got your door to the, your back to the door and all of a sudden you go, oh, what the hell? And you turn around like, what's going on? You're much more powerful than you believe you are. The reason why they need you to be completely confused is because if you wake up to the fact of, hey, you know what? I don't need this shit. If I don't have it, I can create it. And if I don't need it, if I'm not supposed to have it, then something better that will cause me a curiosity to go in a different direction, which will actually set you free because you're living bliss. You choose bliss and you go that way instead of down the, hey, let me go do what the masses are doing. Well, if you do what the masses are doing, you're going to get what the masses get, which is called death. I'm pretty sure it says choose life or death. It doesn't say choose life and or death. If you're going to choose that road map and not realize how powerful your mind is, that consciousness is physics on steroids, and it trumps chemistry, which is your body, did you know that you can have a body of your choosing with very, very minimal effort? All you got to do is just think of the absolute highest and best version of yourself and say, this is the best I can offer up with all that's within me, take what I have offered and make it better. I choose to accept your will, not my will. That means that you're being open. You're not dictating it's got to be this way or I'm not going to be happy. Well, if that's the case, then guess what? You need to go vote for the socialists because they still got you. <laughs> I'm just trying to set you free so that way we can all go and enjoy what it is we're here to do, which is have fun, be kind, and literally just have people to play with. Go dance on a beach, go fishing together, go do something that is actually pleasurable instead of this, oh my God, there's a virus. Well, guess what? The coronavirus is nothing but just a basic virus that can be killed by Lysol. It's your fear and the propaganda from the fake news media that's actually perpetuating the thing. Now everybody's making a run for the, the toilet paper, which that's kind of unusual. I've never seen that one coming. It's normally the milk and bread and stuff like that. But come on guys, wake up. They are, they're playing you like a fiddle. You know how you play them? Starve them out. Hey, I dismiss you. You're not real and I'm not buying it anymore. So with that said, I'm standing at McDonald's right here beside some, I think, I-74. So if you guys want to come and acknowledge me and see if you can make me fearful, please don't be shocked if I laugh in your face because I know the truth. I'm trying to give you the truth. Your DNA has all the answers. Have you ever heard all the great success stories? The answers are within. 
It really is because, believe it or not, you've got at least 10,000 plus generations inside of you. That is a wealth of experience, knowledge, wisdom, everything. And guess what? If you're fearful of something, you're like, you know what? My life isn't working. Well, you're trying to work it. Go with the flow. How do you do that? I choose to suspend everything that I think that I know, believe. Please show me the best way to go. And don't be shocked if you start getting images or some weird thing like, I want wealth. And then all of a sudden you get this, why do I need to pick up that piece of trash? Well, if you can't be trusted with a small thing of picking up that piece of trash, then why in the hell would your ancestors honor you with information that's going to cause you to be a terror for the rest of the world? Makes sense to me. You got to have balance. Here's a good one. Just start thanking yourself. Thank you for my blessed and balanced life. And watch it unravel and don't hold on to it. If you don't need it, it's going. The reason why you're perpetual, why life is being perpetuated in the reverse is because you think you've got to hold on to something. What I've noticed is we live in America and I can't believe that I'll literally walk around here in the land of abundance with all these people still going out and buying crap and I'm starving. Hmm, huh. that's crazy. Where's the compassion at? And I'm not saying, you know, go help me. No, I'm doing this as an experiment because I needed to know. Why did I need to know? Because I'm a student of life. That's why I call myself a master. Once you understand the fundamentals of it, you get the, you get the joke of it. You know why Donald Trump didn't acknowledge those kids coming up there to do that million student march thing because all that gun violence? See, you done forgot about that because they got you on the next fear thing. Here's what Trump did, and here's what you should do. You know what? I don't care if they're coming to Washington, D.C. I'm going to go play golf and eat me some McDonald's and have a piece of German chocolate cake and see what I'm going to do on Monday next week. Have a nice weekend. You don't have to buy it, people. Stop buying into it. Otherwise, you're going to keep buying their crap until you're dead and gone. Your body is programmed to literally be on autopilot to die around 70 to 80 years old until you figure out you've got control over it. You control everything, literally, even the weather. You don't believe me? Go outside the next time and find you a cloud and look at it and say, I choose to bust that cloud. I want to see through that cloud and watch that cloud disappear. Who did it? Hmm. How'd you do it? Guys, consciousness physics is much more powerful than you can understand. You are literally creating worlds and universes for every action that you offer. So how do you make a world better? You literally, every person that you meet, if they decide to blow a horn at you in anger, instead of reacting in kind, throw up your hand and say, hey, thank you, I, I have a great day. Smile at them. Every person you make a contact, eye contact with, smile at them, speak to them. You might just save them from walking into a long walk of misery, which is the opposite side, because that could be you, which it probably is on a different timeline. That's all that's going on here. Run your race, keep your eyes on the prize. Whatever that is for you, that's how you resolve this thing. Please do me a favor, watch this again. I know I was rambling. I normally have stuff to slow me down a little bit because I have so much going on up here that I want to tell you everything. I really do. But you have to figure it out for yourself. But it first starts with the fact that you do control everything and you're being used right now, especially when it comes to fear-based bullshit. Check the description box and please remember, because we were all taught this all the way back to our Lemurian days. You ever wondered why your house is always your castle? <laughs> Lemurians 
always have to find an island to save because they didn't like the fact that their island well common sense should have told the enlightened creatures way back then us that an island in the middle of the ocean is probably volcanic it might sink just saying so guess what we dispersed in our little boats and we went and found our new island and we called it america europe russia you see what's going on we're just defending our home because we don't like the fact of having to start over again and dispersing. Well, instead of living in fear because that cataclysmic stuff is pretty much over, especially if everybody will start being nice and kind and peaceful, that will settle the energy grid that's under our feet. The magnetics is amplifying into the grid all of this fear-based energy. Well, what if you actually put benevolent stuff like love and peace into it? Now the point of contact, you from the heavens, which is up here, heaved up place. Earth, which is what we come from. Us is the point of attraction. If your world doesn't look the way you thought it was supposed to be, just call on your ancestors and all your heavenly hosts to show you the way home let love guide you not fear that's what that means in the bible that everybody is so adamant that it's da, 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 da. no that was just a guide point for our star seed parents to literally give us a creation story so that way we would remember that about two hundred thousand years ago they came down and gave us a gift of divinity so that way we would have free will to either choose life or death, choose kind or mean. You see what's going on here? The reason why we can't get them to come in is because right now we'd probably shoot at them or be so fearful that they're coming to take our stuff that we got to guard our island called Earth. Guys, 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 it's we're all the same it's all energy the universe is made up from your point of contact you only see what you're going to believe to see you think it's dark matter i don't see it that way i see it as vibrant full of color who's right i know i'm right and i don't have to debate that <laughs> develop a quantum lens so that way you can see what i see Mine came through trauma, drama, and all the fear-based stuff I had to muddle through because I chose to. Instead of asking for a quick fix, I decided to walk through the crap to find the path that I was supposed to be on. And when you do that, the secret things will be unlocked to you. With that being said, I'm going to go enjoy my coffee since it's probably cold. I'm tired of rambling, and I'm going to go out and enjoy my day because... The rain has gone away. You know why?